Time now for seven three-minute rounds of heavyweight boxing. Firstly, making his way to the blue corner, would you please welcome from Kazakhstan, Intriguing final bout. This uh, promises to be very experienced heavyweight boxer. Here's the team. Seven wins, just two losses. One knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, himself. making his way to the red corner from, from Croatia. Excel, Would you please welcome Philip Hergrovic and the Kazakhstan boxer. <laughs> Goes up against one of the young rising stars in the world of heavyweight boxing, Philip Hergovich. 19 years of age, 2010 youth world champion, quarter finalist in the 2011 world championship in uh, Baku, Azerbaijan. He's at uh, Boxes for Paris United, the French team, Harvey. And uh, there's a lot being said about this young lad. And there's uh, one or two experts and opinion leaders that will be watching this performance very carefully. It's a big ask for him to get the better of the, the giant from Kazakhstan. But he's got a lot of talent. And a, a box of the okay, yeah, 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 Here we go. Are you ready for fireworks? You know, he's a young lad. This is a um, uh, they're they're gonna they're gonna come out and start slow and that, but um, you see how he opens up, you know, he's, he's definitely got the range on the, um, in his, you know, in his favour. Upon the sound of the bell, the referee in charge of the action, introducing Mr. Ray Morley of England. Our two finalists about to go head to head for the World Series Boxing Heavyweight Championship are out of the blue corner on the scales at 99.85 kilograms. From Kazakhstan, with a fight record of seven victories and three wins. Start by far the more experienced of the two. Eight years the senior to this uh, young rising star out of Croatia. He's 19 years of age and he's a big lad. You're absolutely right, Harvey. Over six foot six, a massive reach. And hopefully, those are the skills that will give him the opportunity to try and defeat the big star from Kazakhstan here tonight. Yeah, fantastic. You know, it's a good point made. He's got to use oh, that reach. Well, I personally box bigger boxers myself. I don't feel intimidated by bigger guys. If I can get inside that jab, and and, uh, and, and like he should be trying to, and land land them powerful shots, then that's his game. It's hard for the bigger guy. He's got to use that reach to his advantage. He's got to make. Ladies and gentlemen, a heavyweight keep contest. Him bay, keep him off of that jab. Three and try and drop that right hand through the middle. Lukovic for Croatia. Now in the red corner, up against Mesatiev. Kazakhstan. Exactly as you've described, Harvey. Kazakhstan boxer trying to get inside that jab. And the Croatian teenager. Yeah, Lukovic's boxing nice, you know, just feeding him out with a jab and then trying to land the right hand. And that's all he needs to do, you know, just keep it at range, just keep picking him off with the left hand, and then drop the right hand over the top as soon as he opens up. And that's what he's trying every single time. And a straight punch combination, one, two there. <laughs> 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 
temptation for the smaller fighter Nick is to try and box the bigger guy from the outside. He doesn't need to do that. You know, he just needs to put the pressure on, try and get him to throw the shots. If the guy Perkovic is trying to land that right hand, then roll underneath it, roll the right hand and come up with a left hook of your own. You know, simple combination there, double jab, right hand, double jab, right hand. Played of Ruslan is the only one in the round. He, need, he, needs a, he needs a little bit more of that work, you know. Don't try and box him the outside. Walk him down and let the bombs go. You know, it's a seven round fight. You won't be able to soak up that pressure for seven rounds. Unless that's what Ruslan needs, Nick, to get him going. Perhaps he's, he's thinking, right, come on, you know. Light my fire, give me a bit of power, and um, let me come back with some shots of my own. Well, they brought a huge fan base with them, the uh, Paris United team. Another good, strong right hand from the young Croatian. Second big right hand from the Kazakh boxes. And certainly, he's only annoyed her a bit. He's only annoyed him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a useful punch for Herkovic. You know, he's opening him up, he's opening up the guard, you know. Ruslan's coming in with a nice tight guard. And he's just using that jab to part the hands and, and then push the right hand through the middle. Can't be complacent though because he's going to put himself in the corner. And, and that's what I was saying in, in the, before the beginning of the fight, Nick. You know, he's got to keep him at arm's way, he's got to keep him on the end of his reach. As soon as he gets a little bit close, you know, he's in danger of a right hand over the top. Good work for the young Croatian to start the round, playing to his strengths. Expected, Filip Bergovic takes the first round. And that's the tactic he described, and that's the tactic that he's sticking to, and uh, mission accomplished. It's a 10 point scoring system, one box against 10, is going to end up with 9, but straight punches, use the jab, open up the guard, put through the right, nice, consistent, solid point scoring. Yeah, that's exactly right, Nick, and you know he doesn't really need to do any much more than that, really. Maybe sometimes just bring the hook off the jab, because... You know, Ruslan's going to get used to that. He's going to say, right, okay, I know the jab's coming, I know the jab's coming. So right hand's going off the back, and then I'm going to step in and throw my own right hand. So just to mix it up a little bit, he could send the hook off the jab and bring the right hand down the middle as an alternative. The danger he's got is we've got seven rounds, and if he kicks, doesn't stick to that, that tactic and concentrate for the three minutes, four three minutes of the round, he could get caught with the right hand over the top. And that's what this man's trying to do now, he's trying to shut it down and, and land the bigger bombs. Ruslan's got stamina, I'd like to see a little bit more of upper body movement, just slipping to his left and the right as he's walking him down, find it, making it a little bit of a harder target to, you know, to, to hit, but at the moment, you know, he's just outside of that range, and, and he's moving in with a static, you know, upper body, which is easy then for Herkovic to get that right hand on him. What a nasty little cut underneath the right eye of the uh, young Croatian. Oh. Yeah, 
great punch combinations there from uh, Phillips. And yeah, Ruslan just hesitating as well. You know, there, were, there was a time there where he, it was right for him to step in and throw his combination, and, and he didn't. And, and he left himself on the outside and, and sat, sat really on the next combination from Mogovic. You know, a nice free punch. Taking some big punches in this second round, the Kazakh boxer. Good shot from Ruslan. Counter punch was also there from the Croatian. Referee being a little bit mean there on this round, you know, he's rolling under the shots nicely though, trying to box it in the first, first round. No, what if he's using the right hand, if that's his punch, roll underneath it, come back your own count, there's no two or three punches. is definitely a fighter Nick, that likes to be drawn into a fight. He's a heavyweight, he's shorter in stature, and so that is his game, you know. Get my engine going and then I'll really start to accelerate from that to round. do is keep popping that jab out, keep popping that jab out, bring the right hand off, and then once he's caught in, maybe step in with another two punches, not straight one twos down the middle. <laughs> Bruce is inching his way closer as well, Nick, you know, we're going into the third round now. Maybe Hergovic is getting slightly slightly more tired and he's inching his way closer with that left hook. I'd like to see it land, see how that would change the fight. Foot from a middle range. You know, he just needs to be maybe half a foot closer, smother the work down and then let the shot go. To smother the, smother the fighter and then and, and put the pressure on. Not there, landed that left foot from the close range. Short range work. If 
he's gonna if he's gonna do an alternative nick to that from the outside, then he should jab to the body and bring the right hand over. And the left hand to the body, this time for the Croatian for the Kazakh boxer. He's also starting to slow down the more experienced boxer in the gold and black shorts. Of course the colours of the Astana Islands. Interesting to see who accelerates for the latter part of the fight. Second out, round four. Got to win this round. Ruslan. Yes, that there. Another and joint coach down at Legends, Mark Connolly. I know exactly what Mark will be saying to you now. He'll be saying, Feel it, send it. Feel it, send it. And what he wants to do is just get a little bit closer under a tight guard, catch, catch the, the first punch, your opponent's first punch on your arms, and then send your counter punch. You know, feel it and send it. just a once off he's got he's got to put that work right in oh. you know he does it he does exactly what he wants to do Nick. he rolls in he throws that left at counter and then he pulls back straight out of the straight line and, and pulls back on to Hergovic's range and, and that's that's his downfall for him really Hergovic is employing a simple tactic he's touching with the jab and then he's just dropping the back foot, giving himself that little half a foot range, and then feeding that right hand down the centre. Take another half a step back, you know, with his sw shots are going to be swinging around in a minute. He wouldn't want to take one of them on the chin. Another great one two combination from Hergovic. Yeah, and that concentration really got the crowd going as well now, not behind him, an inch in closer with, that, with those big punches. Great round. Just for you, 
I was saying that other tactic from the outside, jab the body, bring the right hand over the top, you know. You need to send a decoy against the bigger boxer, send something downstairs and then throw the real punch over the top. He can't get too close where he's going to smother his own work. He doesn't want to be on the outside where he's going to get caught. And he gives Bogovic any room to land that right now. You know, he took a lot of them over these last four rounds. And, and each each new one is going to add another 10% of, 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 of effort, you know, and take that away from him. So it's a fine game he's trying to play. Jab to the body, right hand over the top. And an alternative to that from the outside will be to jab to the head, bring the right hand downstairs, and then step in with the left foot. challenge he's shown to the referee not ready to go but nonetheless i'd love to see when you get big shorter guys when you're heavy they've got to move the upper half of their body they've got to stick them shots they cannot be a standing target Referee's just. What you see there from the referee there, he's just gone to Ruth's corner and said to him, one more round like that, and 
Again, just 19 years of age. <laughs> Starting to make rapid headway through the senior ranks. This is looking good. <laughs> For a world championship title here. Shall I step in? Shall I call this? side there though, Ruslan, he's got to step in, the referee's having another look. We've got a minute to go now in the, in the, in the sixth round, I think if Nogovic just opens up and ends the last, this round like he did the last round, this, I think... He may not even get to the seventh. He may not even get to the seventh. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. The referee is watching incredibly closely. Great to see. He's in control, but wants to give Ruslan every possible chance he can to try and pull something out of the bag here. Fifteen seconds on the clock. The ultimate round. It looks like we will see seven. <laughs>
So I'd love, I'd love to see Nick Vergovic push that jab out and then bring that right hand up the middle through as a right uppercut rather than a straight right hand. You know, try and catch him coming in. Out of the corner. Good work with the jab to the body as well. Yeah, I'm really feeling the pace now. comfortable just teeing off a little bit you know, comfortable letting shots go doesn't feel threatened <laughs> he's got to be careful he's a little bit novice there you know where he's when he's in close he's allowing his hands to go down and now he's just switching off he can't afford to do that it takes one punch to turn it around and Russo has definitely got that power if he lands it you know, it could all change Corner just urging him for one last big, big effort. Oh, Referee just unhappy with a bit of tape there on the glove and uh, just asked him to be re taken off. to finish strong. Ten seconds left on the clock. The last bout of the night. Unlucky there, the Bogovic not to connect with that uppercut. He too looking for big punches to end the bout now. And there's the belt. Filip Bogovic of Croatia will be crowned the WSB World Heavyweight Champion. Winning seven out of seven rounds. Yeah, he's done very well. Very well. Looks nice. And only 19 years old as well, Nick. So, you know, got a lot to learn. Um, he's definitely going to grow in his experience. But a great performance and worthy of the time. Here is 
I'm tired, I'm very happy. It's big stuff in my career. Thank you very much for everyone. I love you. That was a hard bout as well. Very well done. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the World Series Boxing Heavyweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Philip Hergeve. With one big applause for my coach, Leonard Pietra and my team, Paris United. Thank you very much. Well, all of our newly crowned world champions are invited to the ring for one last photo call of the evening. Gilmakonov of Azerbaijan in the bantamweight division. In the lightweight division, Juan Romero. In the middleweight division, for me, the fight of the night, Sergei Zedevyanchenko of the Ukraine. Ramazan Magomedov of Azerbaijan, the light heavyweight world champion. And we've just seen the big man on the right of your screen. And ladies and gentlemen, as you can see now, we have a very proud Ava president. He is the World Series Boxing Chairman. We have a very proud Dr. Ching Wu Wu Wei for new World Series Boxing Champions of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bantamweight Champion, Gilbert Gilbert Kanoff. Last wrap up from you. Five great fights as we expected. Very close. But uh, for you, anyone in particular, sticks out to your mind. I like uh, Romero, I thought he's got uh, a great fight, it's very close, very close. Abu Ravizov was heartbroken at the end of it, he didn't know which way it was going to go. But, um, you know, I've just seen him walk past, you know, all, all the boys have got a big smile on their face, so they've all done very, very well. Great night of boxing. Well, it's been... Uh, a long and hard season, 73 matches, 365 bouts for the 273 boxers representing 44 different countries in the World Series of Boxing. And I'm sure you'll agree, it has been a true finale, fitting finale here at the London Arena. But of course in 48 days time we'll be hosting boxing once again, but this time for the 2012 Summer Olympic Games. Congratulations to all of our newly crowned world champions here tonight. Well, the celebrations will begin. And for many, it will last uh, longer and uh, late into the night. But uh, WSB in its second year World Series Boxing has had a fantastic evening. From Nick Fellows and from Harvey Morgan, thanks for your company. It's goodbye for now.